About three hours ago, Collinsville residents packed a meeting to learn more about hazardous forever chemicals detected in the city's water. Tonight's city council meeting was moved to the convention center to accommodate the large crowd. Five Minute Side's Laura Barcheski was there as experts shared more about the plan to treat the water supply and what residents can do in the meantime. Testing for PFAS, known as Forever Chemicals, started in Collinsville in 2020. Fast forward to 2024 and the city had to take one of their wells offline due to high levels of PFAS. And in May of this year and in June of this year, we continue to do elective testing and that's when we got um, the results that uh, showed the contamination in the remaining wells had increased. After that, they notified the public about the concerns and urged residents to start filtering their water while they came up with a plan to address it for everyone. At the same time, researchers are still learning about PFAS. These levels are so incredibly low, you'd have to drink uh, over two liters of this water daily for over a quarter of a century uh, to expose yourself to a small amount of, of health risk. And to understand that that's the case, it takes over a quarter century of of research. The community has a lot of questions and concerns. I'm concerned about my health. So right now I'm buying water to do what needs to be done. For years we've been drinking the water. So to us, who's got this pre exist condition, what has it done to us? So what are they going to do? The city of Collinsville is going to put in a filtration system at the water plant and they hope to start construction in 2027. They've narrowed it down to two different types, a granular activated carbon system or ion exchange treatment. City officials say it's going to cost around $10 million to put it in. And while they have no real idea of where the chemicals came from, they did enter a class action lawsuit against manufacturers like 3M, DuPont and Tyco, where they expect to get just under half of the money to pay for it. They're also going to apply for grants from the state. The last thing that we want to do is have to pass this burden off on the people who are essentially victims of this pollution rather than the perpetrators. Reporting in Collinsville, Laura Barcheski, Five on Your Side. The city of Collinsville has released some guidance on filtration systems and more information about the plan. We have that for you in the As Seen on TV section of KSDK.com.